everybody, I am That Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the four mechanisms of heat loss. So we're going to be talking about these in relation to the newborn, but these are not only specific to the newborn. Adults can lose heat these four ways as well. So let's get into it. Evaporation. So for the baby, this is when their wet amniotic fluid is on their skin. So they're first born, they're wet, they're covered in blood and amniotic fluid. What is the first thing we do? Dry them off, right? We dry them off, we wrap them up, we cover their head, we get them warm. So think about you as an adult. If you've taken a shower and then you get out of the shower and let's say you don't dry yourself off with a towel, you just stand there, you're gonna get really cold. Why? Because you're losing heat through evaporation. So same concept. The second kind is something called conduction. So the transfer of heat to a cooler surface, so from a warmer surface. And the example of what we can do to prevent this would be to pre-warm devices. And yes, we can do this on infants and children, but we can also do this on adults as well. So maybe you've gone to a checkup before, and before the doctor or the nurse puts the stethoscope on you, they, they warm it up, or they warm up their hands before they touch you, right? That is because they don't want you to lose heat via conduction. The third way we can lose heat is called convection, and this is loss of heat to cooler air, usually moving air, like drafts in the room. So something we can do to prevent this is to keep baby away from vents. Or if you've ever seen a baby in a crib, they're in that isolate, which is totally covered, because if you push them in a regular crib, that air current is gonna be over top of them, and it's more likely to cool them off, make them cooler. So think of convection like a convection oven, so how it works with the waves of heat to warm the food. So in this case, you're losing the heat because the air is cooler. The fourth kind of heat loss is radiation. So this is loss of heat to a colder environment. And the example of this here is, let's say you're in class and you're sitting over here by the wall and your classmate is sitting over here by the window and it's winter time, it's really cold outside. So the classmate by the window is going to be much colder than you, the one by the wall, because the colder window environment is taking the heat from them. So what can we do, especially when it comes to babies? Keep them away from windows or keep them away from obvious colder surfaces, colder environments, because it's going to take the heat off of them. Now, all of these types of heat loss are applicable to all humans of all ages, but I wanted to talk about them specifically when it comes to infants because they lose heat a lot quicker than we do. Just because they are so small, their body surface area is larger, their skin is thinner, the capillaries are so much closer to the surface, so there's a lot of physiological reasons why an infant would lose heat quicker than we do. But we still can experience all four types of heat loss. So that was my video on the different types of heat loss. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.